But mosquitoes are very dependent on water. You see, mosquitoes, as most insects, go through a process that's called complete metamorphosis. It's their life cycle, from egg to larva to pupa to adult. You're probably familiar with this concept where butterflies are concerned. The difference between mosquitoes and butterflies is that mosquito larvae are aquatic insects. They have to be in the water. They can't survive out on land. So if you find a mosquito, it's going to be close to water. Now, mosquitoes are very, very common in areas where it's warm and moist. Uh, think about Africa, where the malaria is such a problem. Of all of the instruments in NASA's Earth Observing System, MODIS has proven to be one of the most versatile, producing both groundbreaking science and compelling images. The moderate resolution imaging spectroradiometer on both the Aqua and Terra satellites has changed the way we look at our atmosphere, oceans, and land. MODIS increased the wavelength range, covered more physical properties of the environment that it could monitor, it measured them down as small as 250 meters, size of a, a couple, couple football fields in size, and had many more spectral bands to study more aspects of the ocean biology, of the land. Since its launch in 1997, the Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission, or TRIM satellite, has become the world's most widely used space-based resource for measuring Earth's precipitation. The AMPSERI instrument is a microwave radiometer. Uh, that's uh, sort of like a radar in reverse. It has a big dish, uh, kind of like one of those big TV dishes. regions of countries like Kenya and Tanzania. Anopheles mosquitoes have responded to climate change there by moving into areas that were once too cool for them. When they moved into these new areas, the mosquitoes brought with them the deadly parasites that cause malaria. The people who live in these areas hadn't been exposed to malaria before. They weren't as immune to the disease as some living in hotter regions of these countries. As a result, people living in these mountainous regions have become the victims of more frequent and more lethal malaria epidemics. 